the 29-year-old England international, who is expected to be England's first choice number seven for the Indoffsis in World Cup, underwent emergency surgery to remove his appendix just 13 days ago, but is poised to play against St. Helens in Thursday's first playoff semi-final. In taking each day as it comes, he said after being named in the Super League Dream Team for the third successive year after a record-breaking season with the table toppers. I keep pushing it day by day, and it's progressing slowly but surely. I'll have a late fitness test on Wednesday, and hopefully get the green light. After a first diagnosis in hospital, Gale was told both his grand final hopes and his World Cup dream were at an end, although he was initially treated for indigestion. I rang my physiotherapist on the Monday, and, when I told what sort of pain it was, he prescribed Gaviskin, Gale said. He won't thank me for that. The pain was pretty tough, and it got gradually worse. He rang 111 for me, and they came and hooked me up to a drip. The doctor said straight away I'll have to have an operation tonight. It was a bit of a shock to be honest. I thought it might have been a bit of food poisoning, I didn't have a clue. I felt a bit sick, and I put it down to a gym session. After pressing on my stomach, she said look, your season is over, you won't be going to Australia. Then someone else then came in and assured me it wasn't that bad, but for two hours I laid on the bed and thought everything I've done this year has all come to an end, and it was quite hard to take. Gail, who had keyhole surgery, will take encouragement from the experience of Hall forward Chris Green who made his return from an appendectomy against Castleford last Friday, just three weeks on from his operation. The Cosboys sure are popular here at the Dream Team launch, now catching up with the media media.twitter.comloa 5 wc 59 xt Castleford Tigers at CTRLFC September 25, 2017 The doctor said three weeks, but we in rugby league we tend not to listen to doctors, Gail added. It all went well and him feeling fit and healthy again. It will be two weeks and two days which is a bit sooner than Chris Green, but we're all different individuals, it's not set in stone. Castleford coach Daryl Powell intends to include Gale in the 19-man squad he names on Tuesday, but will not make a final decision for another 24 hours. Hess had a run today, Powell said. He hasn't had any contact so I'll wait until Wednesday and make a decision, after seeing how he comes through the final session. He'll be close I think. St. Helens coach Justin Holbrook, who says Johnny Lomax will be, be fit to return to standoff, after missing the win at Salford Red Devils with a slight calf strain, expects Gale to play. I think he should play, and I hope he does, Holbrook said. Hess had a great season, and he deserves to play in a semi-final.